Today we want to show you another budget-friendly campground we found in the Fraser Valley of British Columbia, Canada. It's called Tamahai Campground. And we really love it because it has sites close to the river like ours. You might even be able to hear the river right now. It's super clean and just really well kept. The hosts do a great job and it's nice and close to our house. We don't have to go very far and all of a sudden we're out in this. Tamahai Creek Campground is found on Chilliwack Lake Road, just outside of Chilliwack, BC. It's a 1.5 hour drive east of Vancouver, not far from Cultus Lake. The campground is split into two sections, east and west. Tamahai East is a small, open, 17-site lot, whereas Tamahai West is an 88-site, mostly forested campground. All sites are back-in only. These recreation sites are designed for dry camping. They have outhouses and firewood for sale, but there are no hookups, running water, or Santa stations, so come prepared. Sites are reasonably priced at $17 a night for a single site at the time of filming this video. They also have double and triple sites available for groups. We'll be sure to include the website in the description below for more details. We have, we've just arrived at the campsite and there's some people with ATVs for sure. <laughs> They're pretty noisy, but looks like a beautiful campsite. Wasn't too hard to back into. We're here on our site in uh, Tamahai Campground and so far, first impressions are great. We've got the sound of the river, got a nice picnic table, fire pit, pretty decently sized site. Yeah, real nice so far. So we're just going for a little walk around the campground. Gonna see some of the other sites. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, this one's huge. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're just kind of scoping out some other sites just to see, you know, which ones we might uh, like to come back to or which ones look really promising. And we've come across this one. It's num site number 89. And it's, you can see it's pretty wide. It looks relatively level. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's pretty private. We're really liking the looks of this one. It's got some nice sun too which is really nice on like cooler days when we want to maximize that sun. Maybe not as much in the summer, but in theory, all those trees will have leaves on them so you'll still get some shade. So the overall vibe that we get here is that it's a pretty friendly place. I mean, right now we are one of, I think, three or four campers in the whole park. <laughs> so we can't totally comment. Well, there was a lot more when we first arrived. Though. Yes, there were more people and they seem quite friendly. And the camp hosts are incredibly friendly, wonderful people. So yeah, um, yeah it's, it seems like a really nice family friendly park. Yeah, very clean, very safe. So, things to do here. Well, it's right along the river, so, and it's right along the Trans-Canada Trail, which also runs along the river. So, lots of walking and exploring opportunities. Mm -hmm. Also, fishing, if you're into that. Now, note you have to have a license, which we don't have, so we didn't go fishing. Yeah. But we saw people fishing. Yeah. And uh, you can also go whitewater kayaking. Whitewater rafting, too. Oh, and whitewater That's rafting. That's the whitewater rafting place down here. Um, lots of ATVing around. Um, so we heard a few of those. So I don't know <laughs> if that's an indication of what a busy weekend or a busy summer day would be like here. Yeah, we've read that in some of the reviews that the ATVs can get a bit noisy at times. Yeah, but within the park itself, ATVers are only allowed to idle through. So it's they're not like ripping past your sight but you can hear them in the distance on the road. Chilliwack is not too far from here. It's like a 20 minute drive. So you could go for a day in town if the weather happens to be, you know, not as ideal. Or if you forgot something, you can- Yeah, or if you forget something. Have access to stores pretty quickly. And if you have kids, they also have a little bit of a playground here with a seesaw and a swing. Oh, and a horseshoe pit. Oh yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really nice getaway from the city and, I don't know, we just really like it. The trail is really nice and the river, the sound of the river is beautiful and... Yeah, it's like very, it's nice and rustic and natural, but you don't have to go too far from the city. Mm -hmm. So Mel says there's a path behind the trailer. Let's go check it out. Yep, it's right through here. 
I think it links to the Trans Canada Trail. Well, this is handy. Yeah, which for those of you who don't know, the Trans Canada Trail is a hiking trail that um, crosses all of Canada. Hence the name, Trans Canada Trail. Can we get down to the river? Let's try and go down this way to the river. <laughs> I was like, what's that orange thing floating? It's their lure. <laughs> on the beach. So we spent about three nights here. We've had a really nice time, very relaxing. Thumbs up from us. Yep, we'll definitely come back. There's uh, quite a few sites we've scoped out that uh, we would want to try next time, so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And in the meantime, please be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It really helps us out. It helps us share things with people just like you. So thank you very much. And in the meantime, Keep on living the life you've imagined. And uh, it was, it would, oh my. <laughs> Be cinematic, Benny. <laughs> Be cinematic. He's like, oh, this is my melancholy face. <laughs> and in the meantime, <laughs> I was waiting for you to start. I know, I know.